In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make music in the style of the Prodigy. Hey, it's Will from EDM Tips, where each week I show you different tips and tutorials on how to seriously improve your electronic music production game. So, today we have got one of my all-time favourite electronic groups, the Prodigy. Now this is kind of an homage to Keith Flint, who sadly passed away not too long ago, but more than that, it's about the music and it always has been. So one of my favourite producers of all time is Liam Howlett from The Prodigy, and in fact The Prodigy is the band that got me into dance music in the early 90s when I heard Out of Space drifting down from my older brother's room and I was just hooked on electronic dance music since then. Now I know The Prodigy is a favourite group for many of you because I got so many requests in last week's video, and as always I do try to make the video that you ask me for. So let me know in the comments what video or what artist you want to see me cover on this channel. I'm going to show you how you can create a track like No Good Start the Dance, one of their biggest ever hits, and we're going to be going into loads of new techniques that I've never showed anywhere before. We will be going into creating those killer Prodigy breakbeats, we will build an organ riff from scratch, add some reverb, and we're going to be going into the exact samples that Liam used in No Good, and I'm going to show you how to bring them into Ableton, how to warp them so they're in tune with your track plus the mixing and the processing as well. I'm going to be using Ableton Live 10 and you can download this project file, all of the presets and the samples completely free below, but you can follow along in pretty much any door because these techniques will still apply. A quick shout out to three of my masterclass students who have just had awesome releases, Zoya, Pepperjack and Midnight Cities. They are creating some heat already, so check those out below this video. If you want videos like this each and every week, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make sure you never miss a video. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, so I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can and try and show you as many techniques as I can. The first thing we're gonna do is gonna set the tempo, which for this track is 145 BPM. And the next thing I'm gonna do is name it, and if it's no good that we're basing it on, it's not gonna be exactly the same, by the way, it's just to show you techniques. We are gonna call this very good. See what I did there? Cool. So the first part of the production we're gonna do is bring in some of those samples that Liam used in the original track. Now, there are two distinct ones, the vocals, the bass line, and then there's the organ stab, which we're gonna kind of build out from scratch with the synth. So let's bring the vocals in first. It is actually from a track called You're No Good For Me by Kelly Charles. So if we just drag that in, just a WAV file or an MP3, I'm not sure which one it is, we need to know the tempo of this. Now you can just look it up online and you'll usually find it. So I know for a fact that this track is 120 BPM. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to the first, um, transient to the track, Yo. which will be there. Yo, no good for me. I'm sorry, I'm sure you recognize the sample. So let's warp that, warp it at 120, because that's the original sample. Yo, no good for me. And listen with the uh, metronome. Yo, no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no okay, so I'm going to zoom in a bit, and I'm just going to drag the start marker so it's a bit more in time. Yo, no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one, that's no good for me. Perfect, okay, so now I'm just gonna delete the rest of the track and I'm gonna change this warp mode to Complex Pro. I'm gonna put it up three semitones no good for me. I don't and I'm gonna change the formance. Boom, consolidate that, that's the vocals. Okay, now the bass line, and this is from a track called Funky Nassau by Beginning of the End. So let's just drag that in. And the sample that we are going to use starts at 1 minute 13 in this track. So let's just kind of jump to that. 1 minute 13 would be about. So it's that bass line there. So let's go in and just cut, cut the bit we need. So that's the first beat, and, it, and, and that's all it is, just that first bit. So let's dump the rest of the track, consolidate it, and now we need to bring this into time with the rest of our track. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to drag it back to the beginning, zoom right in, and we need to get this synced up with the tempo of the track. I'll just turn off the vocals and use the metronome. Like so. I think 
that's pretty much it. And you can actually use the grid and you can see visually if it's, it's kind of synced. So I'm holding shift and just dragging the side to, um, to do that. Cool, so let's just dump that. Up it by three semitones. Change it to Complex Pro. Boom, there we have it. That is the bass line from No Good. So with the vocals. Cool, okay, on to the next biggest thing, which is the organ. Don't worry, we are gonna be arranging this very shortly and make it sound super sweet. Now, I don't actually know what organ sample that they used for this track. So what I'm gonna do is kind of build an approximation out from scratch. I practiced it, it's really hard, uh, but I just couldn't find an organ sample that had the same vibe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a MIDI clip. I'm gonna use the silence for this, but you can follow along in pretty much any synth. Um, and let's just draw in the notes first. So. Ah, silence, your initial patch. How we all know you, how we all know you so well. So I'm gonna just write in the notes. Like this, and it's in E. So let's turn off the uh, funky bass. No, no, no. Okay, it's half as many as that. So let's just do that. No, no. And we're going to make the organ sound in a minute. No, no. So you'll recognize that now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do this by drawing it in, like so. Let's duplicate that, because it's twice as long. And that one's held a bit longer. Let's just drag the end of that. So that is the riff. Now let's try and make it sound a bit more like an organ. Now the way we're going to do this is soften it slightly um, by adding a little bit of attack on the ADSR control. A little bit of release. And we are going to create some unison, build out that sound. I just try and show you my entire process, guys. So I know sometimes it can be a bit uh, long-winded, but music production takes time. I could actually be doing with this with silence. I may, uh, sorry, Sarah. So an organ will usually have different harmonics um, and you can, if you've got like a, um, a tone wheel organ, you can usually pull the different harmonics, the tone bars, whatever they're called, draw bars, I think. Uh, and that will add more harmonics the further up. So I'm kind of doing the equivalent, but in synth programming. So you can hear those higher harmonics are coming in now. Okay, that will do for now. I know it's not sounding great, but um, it's hitting the right kind of frequencies. So let's just do a little bit of EQ.
Maybe I don't want to take away the. Uh, maybe I do want quite a sharp. Add some reverb. Okay, that will do for now, but now we are going to go on to the beat. For this, I'm going to use Loop Cloud, which is a great tool for this kind of music because I can listen to it in sync with the track. So if we just load on a Loop Cloud thingy here, Loop Cloud plugin, and you can try it out for free. I think you can try it out for free, but there's a link below. It's an affiliate link, so if you do end up signing up, it does help me out. But um, if you're not comfortable with that, you can obviously just find it on Google. Um, so I'm going to find some kind of breakbeat for this. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that, let's see, this is going to be perfectly in sync with the track. I'm going to look up drums, obviously, uh, and what genre. I think some kind of... I think we probably want jungle drums. And that's going to give us the kind of vibe that we're after. And we're going to choose loops. And we are going to have a listen and kind of preview some whilst we listen. So you can hear it's in sync. It's like synced up to the door, which is awesome for this kind of music. So this is like a lot easier than it was back in the day in 94 when this tune was made. I like this one actually. Cool. So let's shut her up. Shut up, love. Let's shut the organ up. Shut up, organ. And let's get that bass line rocking with the, um, with the beat. So Funky Naz, let's call that bass. Color it yellow. The natural color of bass. Um, and then we are going to preview this drum beat with the bass line. Yes, I accept. I accept that beat into my tune. So we are going to go create an audio track. Now see, I start off a bit nervous and then I get kind of get excited because I just love it. So now this is going to be perfectly in sync. Just drag it from Loop Cloud. Sweet. And let's layer beats because that's what Liam does. Um, and it just creates these awesome kind of polyrhythms. So we've got this looping round. Let's just check out some more beats. Sweet. So let's drag that in. So I'm going to tweak this a bit because this beat has a, the snare comes in early on the second beat. So I'm just going to cut this loop and make it follow along. So it's not too complex. You know, the beats do follow along. So I could go and then the second snare would be there. Yes. Nice rough cuts. So let's just duplicate that. Play it with the bass. And for this one, we're going to do a little bit more processing. I don't want that whole beat in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to EQ it slightly. Make it a bit crunchier. And I'm going to take out some of the um, kind of bits in between. I just want some of the beats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a noise gate and it's going to just cut out the sound beneath my whatever threshold um, of volume that I choose. So anything, when it reduces in volume below this threshold, it cuts it out completely. So this is with it off. So it's a lot more kind of staccato. Let's pan it left a bit. Cool, we're getting there. Okay, now let's get a kick in there. We need a big fat kick. So I'm just going to use uh, a random kick. I might use one from the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit, which you can check out below as well. That's pretty hardcore. Let's use this. And um, we're first going to program in the beats. 
And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go and select sustain full and decay very short. And that means that when this MIDI note is not playing, then the sample just stops. Okay, here we go. I think that's the rhythm. Cool. So now let's make that really big fat kick. And we're going to do this by using a drum bus. Now, if you're not using Ableton, you could be using a saturator and a compressor to create a similar effect, but drum bus is really cool. So check out what we're going to do with this kick now. So now we're getting really quite heavy. I'm just going to add one more kind of beat there on the side, uh, just on the other side to balance out those breaks. Now, I don't know if the normal track, the actual track has this, but again, this is just kind of some ideas about how you can create this style of music for yourself and then obviously make it your own. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'll pan this right and turn it down. Check in mono. Cool. Next thing we are gonna do is create a kind of tonal drum. Now in lots of Liam's tracks, lots of the Prodigy tracks, there is usually some kind of percussive element that has a particular pitch or a tone, and this can kind of bring um, you know, bring some more interest to the tune and also cements the key that the tune is playing in. So this, I'm just going to do this with an, a synth. Let's use Serum today. Okay, that must be an audio track. So create a MIDI track. And I'm just going to choose a simple wave for this. I'm going to go and choose a sine wave for the time being. And this key is, I think it's in C minor. So we can use C as the note for this. And then the second time we'll miss the last note out. Just give it a variation. And then when it plays through again, I think on the original track, Let's close loop now there for the time being. The last note goes up. But we need to make that sound more metallic, more interesting. So what I'm going to use today is something I haven't really showed you guys before. Let me know if you're enjoying this, by, uh, um, by the way. Let me know in the comments. I really enjoy your feedback. It really lets me know um, that it's worth doing if you guys give me a hell yeah or an Amen brother. So you can hear I'm just playing with this erosion, which adds more harmonics. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's get onto the break, the big epic break with the organ, with all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna color these things so I can see what's going on. Let's color that pink, call that vocals. Organ can be blue. It's just the thing uh, where I like to color these things. This is a perk. Uh, these are all drum breaks. So all of the drums can be in green. And I'm just gonna assign those colors to the clips as well so I can see what's going on. 
Sweet. So let's get to the break. Now we know we've got this organ, which will happen here. And then I believe there's like a sustained bass, which we're going to do as well. Cool. So I know that the bass then would cut comes in there before the drop. And there's also a, a like a a click, like a thumb click. So there is also yeah, there's so much layering in the Prodigy's tunes, and it all comes together with the processing, with the sample selection, just to make these incredible tracks. So I'm going to go to, again, the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit. I will go to uh, Snaps. That one will do. Um, again, I'm not trying to make the exact same tune. I'm just showing you this because it would be impossible. It would take me a long time to kind of duplicate it perfectly, but uh, some of the techniques you'll be able to use for yourself. Okay. Just augment that drum. Oh, I'm going to add a tiny clap there because I think there's a little clap that comes in, just layers. That just layers underneath on those last four. And then it goes, and then you hit on the drop, which is going to be here again. And I think the second, yeah, the second drop, um, you get an open hat kind of introduced as well, which we're about to about to show you. And again, it's just kind of building, building up those rhythms all the time. And the organ plays. And we also have, uh, I think they, he adds like a kick on the 4-4 four four as well. So just one more. Which just intensifies the beats. So there's a beat on the house, douche, 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 douche. But it's still got all these other cool kicks in, the, in between them. So let's open up a open hat again from the EDM tips toolkit. That one's pretty nice, nice and crisp. We drag that into our drums. We'll use the drum rack for this, although it doesn't really matter. You could do it with samples, whatever. And we're just going to put this exactly where you'd usually put an open hat um, on a house track. Let's just pan it right. So it's all quite intensified at that point. And yeah, let's kind of get to a bit where we've got the break. Uh, and oh man, I'm, I'm loving this already. I just bring me back. And we will do more processing that right. Cool, so let's get into the break, the next break, where the vocals are going to come in. So we are going to create some kind of break bass to keep things interesting. Actually, let's call this res synth. I know what I'm going to do here, actually. This is, yeah, one of the sounds that's in the background of the bass, uh, of the break, sorry. And I just want to do it on the root note. I'm going to use another serum for this as that seems to be the synth of choice today. Mm. So again, that's it's easy. Once you know the key, all these drones and background things can just be on the on the root note, which is the C. So this has got some kind of big resonant sweep. No, no good for me. I don't need it. Right, that sounds absolutely gash. Right, so let's just uh, make it interesting. First thing we're going to do is add a filter sweep to it with loads of resonance. And we're going to use an envelope and we're going to open that up. So let's go there 
and make it a real slow it's going to take a long time to open up and a long time to you're no good for me like this you're no good for me you're no good for me i don't need nobody don't need no one that's no good for me you're no good so it's going to be a real um slow build up and a really slow you're no good for me i don't need nobody don't need no one that's no Whoops, no sustain. You're I forgot no to turn the sustain off. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. You're no good for me. I. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need. Turn the resonance right up. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's so it's no really atmospheric me. thing. You're and I'm going to add a compressor because you can see when it hits those resonant frequencies, it kind of uh, peaks a bit. So I'm going to compress it. So it's all a similar volume. Add loads of re reverb as well. I don't know exactly what the sound is because I'm not listening to it at the moment, but you know. But that's going to give that atmosphere. Next, we need the strings the, and the bass notes for this. So let's open strings. And you could use any strings, really, but some kind of electronic sounding strings would be better. I don't know if I actually have any, so uh, it would be good if I did. But I'm going to use the um, Ableton sounds anyway. So let's just see if I can find some strings. Okay, I shall use that. These strings came from the Ableton website. Um, so we'll get the bass notes first. Again, it starts on a C, like the organ riff, so it's nice and easy to remember. So the bass notes would be like this. Cool. And now we need the really high strings, um, which we're just doing the same channel. So let's copy those, duplicate them up an octave. I really wanted to go higher, but that's pretty much as high as this string sound goes. So I might try something in a minute, actually. But first, let's get the... Yeah, I'm going to take it down an octave. And then I'm going to... Draw in the chords. So they're the chords. What I'm going to do is just keep the high ones in, like so. But the way I'm going to make it higher is to freeze this track, like so, and flatten it. So it's now an audio sample. And I'm just going to go in, I'm going to transpose it 12 semitones, choose Complex Pro, and now it's going to be one octave higher. No. Cool. And for the bass, let's get a break bass. I'm just going to create another synth. Break bass. And we are going to use another serum. And of course, it's the same notes that we just used for the break um, for the, you know, for the violins. So start some. And I'm going to give this to you to download, by the way, so you can pick this apart. You can get it below this video. So let's open this serum and work on it a bit. We want it to be a bit more of a flowing sound, so let's add some attack. So 
but we want to take that down a cup uh, an octave so I'm just adding some auxiliary reverb on the strings so I've created these auxiliary channels and the strings now can sound a lot bigger. Yeah I should have increased the volume of those vocals in the clip rather than pushing this fully to six but you know life's too short. In fact no what am I talking about come on Will. Eat your own medicine, mate. Bump it up. There we go. And now we can we can turn it down here and we've got more headroom to play with. So on the fader. I might take this up an octave. Cool, right, okay, so now we're getting to the processing stage, guys. Now, I know it doesn't sound the same, I'm not gonna harp on about it, but hopefully you're learning loads of cool stuff. So to get these drums really crunchy, I'm gonna group them, oops. I'm gonna group them all together, like so. And I'm gonna add another one of those drum buses. I know I've got the kick in there, I don't usually do that, but for this I want to, because I want to get everything sounding really gnarly and crunchy. I'm going to throw a drum bus on that group and just turn the dry wet down and then feed it in a bit. Tonal perk is supposed to be quite low in the mix. You know? you know, let's try and add um, one of these drum buses to pretty much everything. Should just kind of bring it out a bit. I really like this is the weakest point for me not having a good sounding organ. So what I'm going to do, as it, as it were, so what I'm going to do is chuck some saturation on there, try and fatten this up a bit. And then EQ out the low end this drum bus is putting. Yeah, so we're going to have that sustained bass here as well, where it comes in, but it doesn't change in the first break. And you can hear even the bass sample's got drums in as well, so it just adds. Nice, now we're getting some real grit in there. I'm not gonna do this for much longer, guys, because uh, I pretty much showed you all the cool stuff I wanted to, but I am gonna throw a, uh, a symbol in there. In fact, let's go back to the Creative Toolkit, which you can download below. Yeah, okay, so I just wanna add a symbol on the drop to make it bigger. I'm 
I'm going to turn this res synth down one octave. And then little bits to kind of build up. Let's, let's just try that really quickly. Little bits of beats just to build up that um, that break. So that could be, for instance, just grabbing little bits. But not the whole, you know, not the whole lot of the... Just, just that much, for instance. Just to introduce the drums before they drop. So bear in mind, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. But we will keep this one running, actually, I think. And there we go. I'm going to build this out a little bit more because I don't want to kind of run on too long on this tutorial. I'll also have to reference the original track a bit because I've done this. Like, I Of course, I listened to the track earlier when I was kind of practicing. But um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Let me know if you dig this. Get a smash like if you do. And consider subscribing to this channel if you want tutorials like this each and every week. And thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers and happy producing.